Aku fado. Oh, jale waso prasemi. Waso prasemi. Ay, 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 ay. I don't understand this. You volunteer into politics, into political leadership. No under any compulsion or coercion. Why now say open source sum of mine? Public service. Public service. And politics is part of public service. And then you want to be treated as royalty. A. As a burden on the taxpayer. The poor suffering Ghanaians now on the team board remove your tax. Even after leaving office, you want you and your wife to be treated as royalty. Charlie, now how can you think the people are so stupid like that? What what surprises a lot of people? What what shows by brutal? Honestly. Now we 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 telling penny some wife. Why so now cause you didn't come into politics to make money? Trump, with all the faults, no. The man didn't take the salary for four years. Four fucking years. You may hate him. You may dislike him. But he didn't need the office of the president's money pay package. Once you see you're a businessman, you didn't come into politics to make money. So, during your term in office, Kurano, the salary review, you know, you are not under compulsion. And yet by force, you have to review the salary of Article 71 office holders. You can skip it. If you feel, say, the country needs to redirect the funds to other places that urgently need the money. Which there are many, many, many areas, many, many, many sectors in Ghana that need that money. Than to, 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 to give yourselves some royalty pay package allowances. I mean, Stop talking that nonsense. I brought you can answer my video. We are not what I'm going to say. I'm going to say, or set it up your friends saying that's a, a pay, pay package for the wife. Shut up. Give us a break. Tell that to the marriage. A good father is aware of it. I brought you. Stop playing politics with it. Stop behaving as if say just because NDC4 want to take advantage. But they should also shut up. NDC4 to shut up. What the what a good father is doing, Mahama will enjoy it as well. And he let Muhammad speak up. If anybody wants to speak up on this, let Muhammad speak up. The only person in the NDC who should speak up is Muhammad. Muhammad by one year, uh, Article 71 office holders committee one CTV. One CTV. Then they also do back pay, back pay, back pay. Charlie, you people, my 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 mambo for. NDC and MPP, my mambo for. Muni na with no exceptions, my mambo for. Even rich countries are skipping salary increment for politicians. Rich countries. They are freezing salary review and increment of politicians. Now say, oh yeah, now oh yeah, the money twenty one thousand. Now the allowances in Kwani eighty seven thousand a month. Now what 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 goes into your wife's allowances? Now you know G eighty one thousand. 87,000 Ghana cities allowance now. President also allowance, yes. Just say, what we be at the end of the month, you know. Say 29,000 salary, there, they are my president, they are just a smoke screen. Yeah, they are not Oh, you put allowance, they buy out, say 87,000. Just a president, would they at the end of the month, you know, allowance, buy 200,000 Ghana cities, and I say at least 150,000. Maybe twice your wife's allowances, 160 to 200,000. Hey! Now you're the 29,000 Ghana city salary at what is it the president of the 29,000 cities. Charlie, these people are killing this country. They are taking the country to the cleaners. Just say, a cano boni na only to your own They use it to pay themselves. Huge, huge salary, your friends saying packages, allowances. Now you're sneaking through the back door to pay your wife a salary even after you leave office. Even after you leave office. Now you know you're an employee of the state. What a, a lot of nonsense and rubbish. Because I'm saying we're going to go to the crowd until we're going to be in the I respected you, Paro Kufado. You lost all the respect I have for you. Every single one of the respect, out of respect I have for you, they are gone. No more respect for you anymore. As a person, no, you're a very greedy person. Extremely greedy person. No wonder, Matanami do call you the serpent of whatever. Matanami do call you the serpent of corruption or something, something like that. And I was defending you on radio. So Matanami shouldn't be calling you names. Not knowing he knew what he was talking about. He knew exactly what he was talking about. Who should cheer on him? And I will not chum. This is all na. Who knew what he was talking about? Who number one? Kufado. Charlie. Ghana. We are in deep shit. Honestly. The youth of Ghana. Charlie. 
mo future ni dey to you know taskele no your future and the future of your unborn children but what time you hang then ntp and ndc will take you out to the cleanest your country your future to the cleanest totally up to you i don't know she say at the media mo hono even when they leave office they want he wants his wife to be paid you want ex president wife to be on the salary of the state why why is your ex is, is the wife of the president an employee of the state they enjoy a lot of benefits but they shouldn't be on salary it doesn't happen in any country in kra on was ikakra uk america japan france italy belgium germany uh, canada uh, wherever you want to name all the rich countries in the world the president and the prime ministers their wives are not on salary they are not on salary their wives are professionals why why should your wife be on salary why can't your wife go and do some work auntie becky what's her profession why can't she go and work like anybody works if the state i mean yes you're a human must state you know what job is that is it not because you need to know your president that is why he enjoys those privileges and organizing stuff and it's just because he is bloody pre his bloody husband is the president damn president that is why he has all the privileges to be organizing these things oh yes yeah, any other woman can do that given that opportunity to be the president's wife can do that can organize fundraising to complete a uh, confanochi uh, baby unit whatever any other woman can fucking do that giving the opportunity to be the president's wife it's because of that she must be on salary or be obekas as in your answer or be our best this argument or you're extremely stupid and he's not using his head the president the vice president's wives they are not fucking employees of the state they cannot be on salary whilst they are in office or they leave office not the buffo crown said when they leave office they still must be on salary for life and now for the way the 77 will be with our year won't you you will share them dear to our man so that who grandpa our year will be on salary for the rest of her life charlie what about other public servants do they have to enjoy the same privilege or you think you're better than them because you're the president you are the first gentleman did anybody force it on you did anybody force it on anybody baumia is an economist he could bloody go and lecture or do some other job nobody forced baumia to go into politics you're a lawyer nobody fucking forced you Kufuado, to go into politics nobody did that you chose to go into fucking politics and you already have a good a good retirement package as ex-president and you want to extend it to your fucking wives seriously youth of ghana rise up ghana for most of you yeah the music ghana these politicians of mpp and ndc they are wicked 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 people extremely wicked people my name to send the beam because i'm many he's got he's choking us they're choking us when you push people so much down there and you're choking them they'll fight back we are going to fight back now say yeah to send the beam ain't you know i started to do my terminal you know, I'll be very cautious, say, oh, slow down, but it deserves it. You think we are all stupid? I mean, we a Jimmy Fobie, so extremely stupid people, book lakers, stooges, psychophants who go on radio and defend this nonsense. And you get some hypocrites in civil society try and say, say, oh, it's been done already. They already give them allowance. So, Mitete Franklin Kudo, or Kiten Kense, who will be saying, it's always so if they want to do it, they should do it properly. They don't fucking have to do anything properly. It shouldn't be done. Speak up. Like you can use your brains as well. It shouldn't be done. It shouldn't be done. It's as simple as that. The wife of president and vice president cannot be on fucking salary on the state, on the consolidated accounts or whatever. The taxpayer cannot pay them. They are not public servants. Jesus Christ, balling up. Look, or Jimmy Fobia obey defend the idea. We know, not doing Yeduma. Or Jimmy Fobia obey defend the idea. We know, not doing Yeduma. You understand the game? Because the same not also Ghana. We are not stupid. We are not all that stupid. You been meeting with boot for boot. No dear Jimmy Sema. We call it by their proper name. Say, the name we know Jimmy Sema. Ibeka. I think what you people understand now is insult. Now I'm beginning to understand the young people. Because it's extremely annoying to see how you people want to take the country to the cleanest and everything that you're doing shows say you are empty heads, you cannot screw your heads on your neck properly, and you're damn useless people running around the political corridors of power with no brains, empty head, t bon so forth, from, from A to Z. You all, you are damn bullshits around Ghana politics, politicians in Ghana, with no exceptions. Nyanseni, a lot of you, Nyanseni Mutim, the job, the, the politics there is another job for you. You're extremely annoying. The good ones among you must stand up and be counted. I know there are a few good ones. I can name a few names. But majority of you, 
You don't deserve to be in Ghana politics. You don't deserve to be called honorables. You don't deserve to. Majority of you, you don't deserve to. God bless our homeland Ghana and make our nation. God bless our homeland Ghana and make our nation greater and stronger. I gotta go.